Hey friends, uh, it's time for another air conditioning related video. So I'm gonna work on installing that mini split. I've been calling it mega split, but anyway. So here's the indoor unit, here's the outdoor unit. Um, I've got a video on the unboxing. This is an ACIQ unit. And when I bought it, the spec said it had a minimum circuit ampacity of 30 amps. So that means it requires at least a 30 amp circuit. And unfortunately, what showed up actually has, uh, I don't think, it's hard for me to see at an angle, but it has a minimum circuit ampacity of 41.2 amps with a maximum circuit ampacity of 50 amps. So what does that really mean in English? I need to run a 50 amp circuit. Now, the thing that really sucks is when I wired this house, I did not run conduit down the wall because I never in a million years imagined changing the air conditioner. That was one of my mistakes on this house. You know, things happen. So, <laughs> fortunately, I can do it, but man, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh, it's, it's really gonna be a pain in the butt. And so what today's video is about is getting ready to install conduit to run the wire. So, let me take you up in the attic and show you what I'm working with. So, I have an older house. Attic access is through the closets. There's a board that normally keeps my cats out of the attic. In fact, one of the cats is right over here. Uh, they, I don't know where he went. They absolutely love the attic. So anyway, I put a fan downstairs because I don't have any air conditioning other than my mini split running right now. So one time mini split is keeping a 2300 square foot house tolerable. And that's pretty cool. But as you can see here, I don't really have a walkway. And over there is where the uh, panel is. And I have to run across the attic uh, to get to the other side where I, I had the central system set up. And the reason is, is my bedroom's down here. I, I didn't want the unit above my bedroom running because I wanted it nice and quiet. Sometimes I wonder about that, but th there were also issues with, um, if I'd put the unit over here, it would have been really hard to get it in and out of this space. Um, I could have graded access through the bathroom over here, but again, um, I mean, that, that would have worked. I could have put a door in the bathroom to get into here and um, it would have worked, but, uh, at any rate, it's just a nightmare. Let me take you over to the air conditioning side and we'll talk about some of the stuff going on over there. And there's my cat. He was sneaking up on me, seeing if he could get past me into the attic. And then there's another of my cats hiding up here uh, in this, this is a spare bedroom, it's upstairs. So they just absolutely love it in here. And if they can, they will come in. So I'm gonna shut the door behind me. So this is the air conditioning space. It's, this attic is bigger. Um, at least vertically, this is bigger. So I've got to run power over there because that's where the air conditioning line set is. And I had a couple of options. Um, so let me just sit down here. So one of the options I had was to run the circuit from the garage. I'm still thinking about that. I've got a piece of conduit that goes out to the garage that I, I, I left an extra piece of conduit just in case. So if I did that, I only have to go from over here and I gotta say that's tempting. Cause you know, this whole situation is changing, changing radically, uh, you know. So that's an option. Um, one of my other options is uh, to move the system over there. But again, I don't see it. I, I, I don't, I just physically don't have attic to run the ductwork back and forth on, on the front of the house. It's a really, really small um, space up over there. And that's part of the reason I left it over here in the first place is that the pickup from the stair at the top of the stairs needs to be over here. And the only other thing I could have done is built a, a, a chase in one of the rooms. And uh, you know, that's just the lesser of the available evils. There wasn't a nice answer there. So um, I think the air conditioner stays over here. And yeah, I gotta decide where do I wanna run a circuit from? The garage or the panel on the outside of the house that's for the air conditioner? Hmm, 
I don't know. Let me think about that. All right, so one of the things that needs to happen is I need to bend my line set a little bit. So let me reposition the camera, and I'm going to do that right now. So i got to get my fat butt back in here, which is a lot easier said than done because there's just not a lot of room in here. And this isn't anything special about this house. This is, this is frankly how every house is when it comes to HVAC. And the trick is to bend them without uh, kinking anything. There's that. There we go. So, that's that. Now, I got some other stuff that I need to do, so I'm gonna leave the, the flex duct pushed out of the way. And uh, I'm gonna leave the line sets down. Cause I really gotta run this conduit through and it's probably gonna come out next to this one here. Um, I know that's a good spot to put a drill through the wall. Uh, so, Anyway, let's work on the other side. What we're gonna do on the other side is really just build a place to work from. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is verify the distance between the joists. I would bet 24 inches, but that doesn't look like it. It looks like 16. Well, it's 20 inches on center. So anything in the 22 to 24 inch range will work. Unfortunately, I got a can light and some wiring right where I need to put uh, something to step on, and I don't have anything here. So let me get this out of the way. Um, there's not really a good way. I can extend, so I could I could extend the boards this way. That's probably a, not a bad idea. So I'll look for something in the three foot range. So let me go see what I got downstairs and I'll be back. All right, friends. So it is showtime. First, I gotta get the lumber in here. The uh, access point's pretty small. And it just is what it is, you know. There's no equipment up here. So um, the only time I come up here is to fiddle with the um, antenna that's in the attic. Now, one of the benefits to saving all my scrap lumber is that I have it. So that really should have been, oh yeah, it was stapled down, but it isn't anymore. So let's figure out where these are going to go. Now, if you want to be compliant with code, 
you have to protect wires within seven feet of the attic stairs. We don't have attic stairs here, so that's not an issue. But what we do have is access. And I'm building what I call lily pads, which are just places to step to get across the attic. And I'm just putting one screw in each of them. Make sure I don't have any penetrations under there. I don't think I do. This is really something I should have done when I was working on the house. And as an inspector, now I would absolutely have done this. Because this is something that I deal with on a daily basis, is not having good access in the house. Now, now that I have a place to kneel and stand, let's see if we can build Let's see, so that's just tight. So this can light's really not <laughs> helping me, but I guess a foot and a half or so will be good. Um, so the next touch point is gonna be over here. work. Now, remember this is a spray foam insulated house, so it's different in every sense of the word. these go so now we have a second place to stand and now we need more boards so uh, it's coming together let me go get some more boards I want to get all the way over there because that's where my networking goes into my data closet that's also the return air plenum for the master suite uh, or primary suite as we call it these days in real estate so I'll be back in a minute oh I guess you guys probably couldn't see much of that sorry all right, friends, so I'm moving at a snail's pace today, but that's all right, because I'm still moving. That's all that matters. Mm. 
Now, I'm sorry this isn't the most flattering view of me, but it is what it is. Now, why I did this the way I did, but well, again, whatever. So that's my TV antenna. Now, let me put these to good use. Oh, that's so much safer and easier than what it was. I can't believe I've been tiptoeing across this attic every time I need it in here for seven years. Like I said, I should have done this when I was working on the house, but I didn't, so here we are. Now, I'm going to narrow these to just, actually, you know what? Yeah, I am going to narrow this to two boards at this one, because I just don't need as much. Now, in case you're wondering why I didn't put plywood up here, um, I don't have any thick plywood, and plywood's gotten really expensive. So I need some more boards, so let me go break down some of my extra 2x4s, and 
I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, one of the things I'm doing is cooling down between the attic and outside. So one, two, three, one, two, I think at least another two over here. And then I've got to make access over there because I, I need a little platform to work on over there. So, <clears throat> this is a big improvement, even if it's taken me far longer than it should have to get it done. <clears throat> All right, after a little bit of a break and little bit of work outside. I've got my pieces that I need. All right. And I also figured out what's going on with this, so I'm just going to pull it back. It's an extra cable. For now, I'm just going to throw it over there in the corner. there So now we've got to decide where it is that we want to put a work platform over here. And I think the answer is right there. And then we've got to figure out how to make it accessible. Not necessarily in that order though. Now, I don't know that this is going to, I'm not certainly going to stand over here, but I am absolutely going to have to work over here to route the, um, to route the conduit that I need to install. So 
So this gives me good access over here from which I will attempt to insert a uh, conduit. And the conduit's gotta go this way, all the way across the house. And there isn't gonna be anything simple or easy about it. <clears throat> but these boards are gonna make it a whole, whole lot easier. I don't even know how I'm gonna get the flipping pipe in here. I'm gonna have to cut it in half and then glue it. That's really the only answer. Oh! This still isn't perfect, but it's a big improvement. Thanks for watching. That's it for this video. I've installed walk boards to gain access to the attic to install the conduit.